a very warm good morning and a hearty welcome to everybody present here myself chandita das assistant professor hss and on behalf of our institute jkciit it is our sheer privilege to have with us today our chief guest ms shrupa mitra choudhury mla english bazar malda who is popularly known as nirbhaya didi and we are extremely happy to welcome you madam in our institute i also heartily welcome our honorable director sir professor p r alapati jkciit malda our special guest dr shailaja alapati first lady jkciit malda ms jayashree karmakar secretary jshwa and ms shivani das vp ngo udichi i also welcome our respected deans hod's faculty colleagues and staffs to this very timely and relevant sensitization training program on prevention prohibition redressal of sexual harassment of women at workplace to ensure a safe working environment now i request our chief guest ms shrupa maitra choudhury mla english bazar to please come to the stage and take her seat it's a request i also request our director sir professor p r alapati sir to take her seat i request our first lady dr shailaja alapati also to take her seat i request our special guest ms jayashree karmakar secretary js hswa to take her seat and ms shivani das vice president ngo udichi also to take the seat thank you so much everyone and uh, with this note now i would like to request our honorable director sir professor p r alapati to felicitate our chief guest ms shrupa maitra choudhury mla english bazar malda with a flower bouquet uttariya and memento please a big round of applause for our chief guest now i request our respected senior professor hod mechanical engineering dr nilkant barman sir to felicitate our honorable director professor p r alapati sir now uh, i request our dean student welfare dr shondeep chandra sir to felicitate our special guest dr shailaja alapati first lady jkcit malda I request our dean academic Dr Koushik Paul to felicitate our special guest Ms Jayashree Karmakar secretary JSHSWA
Now I would like to request our Deputy Registrar, Dr. Abdul Rajak, to felicitate our special guest, Ms. Shivani Das, Vice President, NGO Udeji. I request HOD Computer Science Dr. Shomik Bhomik to felicitate Dr. Shomi Bhattacharya, Presiding Officer, ICC JKCIT Malda. I request Madam to take her seat on the stage. So once again, I request everybody for a big round of applause for all our special guests and dignitaries in today's program. As we know, a ray of light is a ray of hope. And with this, I request our wonderful chief guest, Ms. Shrirupam Mitra Chaudhary, MLA English Baja Malda, our Honorable Director Sir, Professor P. R. Alapati and other dignitaries on stage to come forward for the traditional and auspicious lamp lightning ceremony. I request everyone to come. Thank you so much to all our chief guests and special guests and I request everyone to take their seats on the dais. Now I would request Dr. Shomi Bhattacharya, Presiding Officer, ICC, JKCIT Malda to come forward and deliver the welcome speech for today's program. Thank you, Chundita Madam. Good morning to everyone. Myself, Shoni Bhattacharya. It is an extreme honor to deliver the welcome address on this auspicious occasion on behalf of Internal Complaint Committee, GKCIT Malda. It is to be noted that any type of harassment, including sexual harassment of women, results in violation of her fundamental rights to equality and her right to life and to live with dignity and right to practice a profession or to carry on any occupation which includes a right to safe and environment free from sexual harassment. Several schemes and initiatives are being taken by Government of India to develop the general awareness among the people of our nation at different level. Sexual harassment of women at workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013 gives legal right to female employees, both regular and contractual, to voice against any type of sexual harassment at the workplace. Any all the employers are expected to honor the act and maintain a safe working environment for female employees while discharging their duties. 
Ministry of Education, Government of India, continuously encourages all the institutes to conduct gender sensitization programs and activities throughout the sessions among employees and students. By the order of ministry, GKCIT Malda has constituted an internal complaint committee in the institute, which is actively performing at present. Further, Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act 2013 and the corresponding rules are thoroughly followed by the institute. Also, the corresponding documents are uploaded on the institute website. Today, organizing this sensitization training on prevention, prohibition and redressal of sexual harassment of women at workplace is another milestone reached by the institute to build a harassment-free environment in the institute as well as in the society. This training is subjected to all the employees irrespective of gender. All the employees should know how to behave, how to talk or how to act in a given situation to ensure a better work environment. With this auspicious purpose, we are really honored to have Mrs. Srirupa Nitra Chaudhuri in an English Bajar, our very own Nirbhaya Didi with us today as the chief guest. Madam, I cordially welcome you in this program on behalf of GKCIT Malda. We are honored to have Professor Parmeshwar Ravalapati, Honorable Director, GKCIT Malda, and also the patron of this program. Without his guidance and encouragement, we wouldn't see GKCIT in its present form today. Sir, I sincerely welcome you in this program. We are extremely honored to have Dr. Shaila Jalapati, Honorable First Lady GKCIT Malda as the special guest of this program. She has always been a great support to all of us, especially with the issues related to women just like a mother. Ma'am, I sincerely welcome you in this program. We are honored to have social activist Mrs. Jayasri Karmakar, Secretary JSHSWA, as the special guest of this program. Madam, I cordially welcome you in this program. We are honored to have social activist Mrs. Shivani Dash, Vice President NGO Udichi, as the special guest of this program. Madam, I cordially welcome you in this program. I sincerely welcome all the dignitaries and guests of the dais, respected deans, HODs, and other faculty members, and the staff members, and also the persons I missed to mention. I'd like to take the opportunity to make an important announcement in front of the honorable dignitaries on the dais and of the dais. GKCIT Malda is going to constitute a ladies club in the institute with the guidance of Dr. Shaila Jalapati, Honorable First Lady GKCIT Malda and Professor Priya Jalapati, Honorable Director GKCIT Malda. All the female members of GKCIT family and the extended family will be associated with this club. We hope this will help us to build a better future. Regarding the training, I believe this is going to be a worthy experience for all of us today. It is a humble request to all of you. Please be with us until the end of the program. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Shomi Madam. Now I request the person who has consumed himself to enlighten our institute from darkness to light, our Honorable Director of GKCIT, Professor Parameshwar Rao Alapati to address today's program. Before Sir begins, I would like, although Sir hardly needs any introduction, but just a short bio note of Sir. Professor P. R. Alapati has completed his master's degree from Vikram University, Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh, and PhD degree in physics from Acharya Nagarjuna University, Guntur, Andhra Pradesh, in the year 1988. He has continued his research activities into the physics of liquid crystals as a research associate at Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, and, a, and as a Commonwealth Research Scholar at the University of Southampton, United Kingdom during 1988 to 1990, and as a pool officer of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research New Delhi at Acharya Nagarjuna University during 1990 to 1991. In the year 1991, he has joined Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology, known as NERIST, 
Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh as a lecturer and has immensely contributed to the establishment and overall development in its right spirit from its formative years. His continuous research and development activities at Near East Itanagar has led to several sponsored research projects funded by DST, CSIR, MHRD, New Delhi, TWAS, Trias, Italy, ETC, establishment for a dedicated liquid crystals research laboratory and a FIST DST laboratory. He, under his guidance, award of eight PhD degrees are there, more than 70 research publications in international research journals of repute carrying factor, impact factor. He has organized two national conferences on liquid crystals as well as other awareness program at Near East and attended many national and international conferences, workshops, as well as delivered many invited and special lectures, including Professor J. S. Dev Memorial Lecture at MS University of Baroda, Gujarat. He has widely traveled both within the country and abroad for his research activities and visited USA, UK, Japan, Italy, and Hungary, amongst others, multiple times to UK and USA specifically. He was awarded with the prestigious scholarships and fellowships vis a vis Commonwealth Scholarship, MHID, AACU, BOYS, CST Fellowship, DST, and INSA Royal Society London Exchange Fellowship, amongst others. He is a life member of many national and international professional societies and is the former Vice President of Physics Academy of Northeast. 2017 onwards, he has actively enriched GKCIT Institute with his pioneering leadership as director to the Institute's all-round development in terms of teaching, research, and administration. Over to you, sir. I request you to come and deliver today's address. Uh, thank you very much, Chandita, for that. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe deserving or undeserving introduction. Uh, I am what I am, all of you know. Uh, at the outset, I welcome again all the dignitaries on the stage and my colleagues and other guests to this important training program. Uh, Srimati Shri Rupa Mitra Choudhury, Nirbhya Didi, fondly known as uh, today's chief guest of this training program, uh, Ms. Jayashree Karmakar, Secretary of JSHSWA, Ms. Uh, Jesh, uh, Shibane Das, Vice President of NGO Udichi, uh, of course, our own First Lady, Dr. Shailaja Alapati. Uh, all other guests from outside, my esteemed colleagues and uh, the press friends. We have assembled here for an important training program today. The program that's been organized by our internal complaints committee is an initiative of Ministry of Women and Child Development, Government of India, and Ministry of Education and other ministries are also have advised the units under their control to popularize this initiative and conduct training programs to the ICC as well as to the administration as well as to the employees. Uh, the most important component are the employees because if any uh, untoward should happen, that happens among employees with uh, or without intention. It is important that all employees know the limits of behavior, both male and female, and especially uh, male counterparts how do they behave with their female counterparts and how do they 
uh, you know treat them uh, it it's need not be a parameter that we should be discussing we should be training should come naturally but unfortunately the world is not so even now uh, after somewhere in 1930s the uh, women's lib activities started in uh, europe and uh, us and other parts of the world even before that women in this country were powerful they were having equal rights they were having uh, you know uh, more importance than uh, male counterparts i am not talking about at the workplace i am talking about in general uh, hamare itihas purane the goddesses gods we pray so everywhere uh, the female has always been very important more than equal to male com- counterparts but in the society practically how do we extend that respect is very important and particularly in workplace it becomes even more important because uh, we are here to work for a particular organization to give our best perform and contribute to the development of that organization be it is gkcit or any other kind of uh, offices or organizations and this is applicable to the students component also but today we are organizing training program here for uh, employees so that we make a better working environment created here for all to perform together with equal importance and contribute to the overall development of the institute our experts madam uh, sri rupa mitra madam jayashree karmakar and uh, madam shibani das and of course dr sailaja they will be enlightening you about uh, what can be done what can be said what cannot be done what cannot be so with that i uh, hand over the program to the experts so that all of you uh, get get uh, you know sensitized that is important in creating a better workplace and of course for students we organize these programs separately and then we sensitize there also and all of you know that you know the we follow ccs rules the government rules any violations will attract punishment i <laughs> it's my duty to tell you that uh, get a proper understanding of uh, what to do what not to do uh, from the training program from the speeches of the experts and uh, uh, try to implement that in your workplace uh, with that i uh, conclude my uh, remarks here uh, and i congratulate our icc and her team for organizing this wonderful program this is very important this is very important and they have taken pains to contact the experts and convince them to bring especially uh, madam sri rupa mitra is quite busy uh, still she could give some time to us and i thank once again to her and uh, the other two wonderful ladies here who are going to train us and of course i should thank madam aus thank you thank you so much sir for your extremely motivating speech and we are honored and privileged to have you amongst us today Moving forward now I would request our special guest Dr Shailaja Alapati to share her insights on today's program and before ma'am starts it's just a small introduction on her Dr Shailaja Alapati is the first lady of GKCIT Malda 
She has completed her masters in English from Acharya Nagarjuna University Guntur Andhra Pradesh and her PhD degree in English from one of the premier central universities Rajiv Gandhi University Arunachal Pradesh in the year 1998. For her PhD thesis she has broadly worked on postmodernism in comparative Canadian fiction in which she has extensively deciphered and explored the women characters subversion within a comparative gender framework her research interest finds social reflection during her stay in united kingdom through her active participation in the international women's club in the university of southampton At the same time Dr Shailaja Alapati has also completed certificate course on computer C++ programming in the University of Southampton In Indian context she has extensively contributed on the issue of gender empowerment especially through her invigorating engagement in the women's club of Nerist campus where she has contributed 1991 onwards as president and secretary for many years as a leading personality of women's club there she has engaged herself in addressing and sensitizing gendered social ills like polygamy and domestic violence amongst others dr dashailaj alapati is also an inspiring versatile personality holding gold medal in basketball college level competition now i request madam Please come forward and uh, enlighten today's event with your words. Over to you. Thank you, Chandika. And respected our chief guest, respected Ru Sri Rupa Mitra ji, and Mrs. Karma ka special guest, and. Shivani Shivani Das special guest and not the least but the best director P R Alpati oh, then hello good morning to everybody here including press and everybody okay i change my language now i will come into hindi so that some of the people they can understand everything but i am not so good in hindi anyway but i will tell you ladies priority and rules and regulations are always there always there only the thing is how we follow it hum kaise le rahe hu wo sab ko hum hum strongly believe karti hu ek strong society banna chahte hai to men and lady both are strong pillars of the same society so that society will be strong they can lead the good and healthy society but the thing is here everybody will say from the childhood they will say oh wo ladka hai wo strong hai wo bolte hai ye parents se hi aate hai wohi se ho jati hai aur hum log ladka ko bolte hai strong bano ladki ko bolte hai आप क्रीपर जैसा उनको ब्रॉट अप करते हैं एटलीस्ट शी शुड बी ऑन देयर फादर स्लैब आफ्टर दैट हजबेंड स्लैब सो वंस दे बिकेम दे आर कॉम्पिटेटिव इनफ विद द कॉम्पिटिशन दे विल कम इन टू द जॉब्स ऑल्सो इफ एनी बडी इज कॉमेंटिंग ऑन देम और डूइंग समथिंग टू देम सरप्रेसिंग देम दे कॉन्ट एक्सप्रेस बट द माइंड यू आई विल टेल यू देर इज नो अदर रूल्स और नो अदर रूल्स फॉर डेंट्स आर लेडीज whatever the rules gents are having same rules are applying for the ladies only the thing is how you are acting upon it if somebody is doing injustice to you should speak it out wherever it is there even in the house in the uh, workplace or anywhere else ye nahi sunna chahiye mere ko are ye kharab lagega ye ye achhi word nahi hai ye sentence is bad actually what is it if they are doing injustice to you it isko if it is usko kharab nahi lagta hai aap speak up karne mein kya problem hai problem wo rehte hai aap batana hai the usi mein subversion character aate hai wo submissive submissive thing you are accepting the things as long as you are accepting the things wo aisa ho jate hai dusron ko aap power de ja rahe ho 
ऐसे ही कुछ है ही नहीं है कोई जेंट्स एक्स्ट्रा पावर लेके पैदा नहीं हुआ है वो लोग अपना पावर लेना सीखा है लेडीज नहीं सीखा है यही तो इसीलिए हम ये वुमन हेरासमेंट कमिटी ये सब शुरू कर दिया जब लेडीज अपना प्रॉब्लम खुद एड्रेस करना शुरू कर देगा तब प्रॉब्लम आती है इफ दे कॉन्ट एड्रेस वो लोग आ सकती है किसी का पास वो लोग करते हैं हम लोग करते हैं पहले से बहुत करते हैं हम लोग सोसाइटी में हम लोग बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं ये सब है। और इसमें मैं बता सकती हूँ वर्क प्लेस में आप लोगों को बहुत वैरायटी का होता है एक डिस्क्रिमिनेशन होता है डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वो लगती है अरे ये लेडी है ये आके हमारे साथ क्यों नौकरी करती है हमारी बराबर क्यों सैलरी लेती है ये सोचते हैं आदमी ये भूल जाती है ये लोग हमारी तरफ ही आ जाती है हम कैसा इंटरव्यू में आया है वैसा इंटरव्यू में ही ये लोग लेके नौकरी करने आया है ये बात कभी नहीं समझते हैं ये समझना भी चाहिए वो लोग आप लोगों का साथ एडुकेट करके आप लोगों का साथ किस इंटरव्यू में आप गए हैं उस इंटरव्यू में आप हो गए उसमें सेलेक्शन प्रोसेस में आके वो बैठी है एंड अदर दैन दैट दे गॉट एक्स्ट्रा ये कवर क्वालिटी है वो घर संभाल के आके आप इस संभालने आ जाती है ये मैं बता पाऊंगी क्योंकि ये घर संभाल के आके ऑफिस एक्स्ट्रा काम करती है वो बट नॉट फॉर लिजनिंग दिस थिंग्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इज ऑलवेज देर आई नो दैट इफ लेडी इज देर यानी एनीबडी दे वॉन्ट टू टॉक दे ट्राई टू टॉक दे कॉम एंड यू नो दे लुक स्टेर मे बी दीज पीपल दे डोंट नो आफ्टर कमिंग हिवेर इन जी के रियटी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू एडुकेट द पीपल विदाउट आस्किंग देयर परमिशन यू कॉन्ट देर यू कॉन्ट देक टेक द फोटोज ऑफ दैम इवन यू कॉन्ट टेक द फोटोज ऑफ दैम बट हियर जी के सी आई टी में तो मैं तो देखा हूँ रिकॉर्ड भी करता है रिकॉर्ड भी करते हैं मैंने सुना है सुना है देखा हूँ मैं बहुत लोगों को बोला भी था ये ऑब्जेक्शन है पर्टिकुलरली निर्भया दीदी नोस आफ्टर दैट निर्भया दिस थिंग हैपेंड इट इज इट इज अ रूल यू कॉन्ट टेक द फोटो विदाउट आस्किंग परमिशन दो आर सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर सेक्शुअली इफ एनी बडी इज अनोइंगली और नोइंगली टचिंग यू शू से नो दे कॉन्ट फोर्स यू टू डू साइन आर एनी थिंग दे कॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग they are having equal rights if you are facing all these things you should come to your administration they will take proper action because ladies can't speak we have to arrange this type of working programs if ladies come out and started speaking we don't have to do this type of programs for ladies rights because you are the one at the end to take up the issues and coming out यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट ऐसे आप लोग खुद आना चाहिए प्रॉब्लम्स हो रहे घर में भी हो रहे तो ये भी हो रहे तो कहाँ भी हो ये राइट right नहीं है किसी का राइट right नहीं है किसी को ऊपर ये करने के लिए ये है एनी वे दे आर एक्सपर्ट दे विल टेल यू ओके थैंक यू बाय थैंक यू वेरी मच शैला जालापति मैडम for her motivational speech and i believe it is very much relatable to many of us own experiences now i am honored to call upon our special guest ms jashri karmaka to share her view on today's occasion before she begins ms jashri karmaka is the secretary of jshs wa jagadhradrita shurvi handicraft and social welfare association This organization organizes as well as arranges various social works including women empowerment shavala kanyashri convergence program that is SAGKP The association also makes arrangements for handicraft training and production it further conducts social behavior change program that is SBC program to ensure positive social behavioral change regarding sexual harassment and creating awareness This organization also works for the gender sensitive trafficking and child protection. Ms. Jashri Karmakar is the vigorous and active secretary of JSHSWA. Madam, please over to you. Everybody respected. 
am Jayasri Kormakar, Jagadhatri Tala Surabhi Handicap and Social Oil Fed Association Secretary. Harassment is a case that is for harassment, for our sexual harassment. Here is R.R. Alapati, Chief Guest and Sri Rupa Mitra, Special Guest. Saloja Alapati and Shibani Das. Everyone respected. Here we are in Bangla, we are very good at the language of Bangla. We are very good at the language of Bangla. बांग्ला में हम हिंदी इंग्लिश में लेके आ रहे हैं या क्योंकि हम बांग्ला में बांग्ला क्योंकि हमारा जो एवरनेस होता है जो टोटल डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हम एवरनेस करते हैं तो मालदा डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हम बहुत जगह जाते हैं यहाँ पर से हम बहुत जगह से हमको रिक्वेस्ट मिलता है क्योंकि हैरेसमेंट बहुत टाइप का होता है हैरेसमेंट जो हमारा एक्ट हुआ है दो में जो वो एक्ट में कोई होता है एक्ट हुआ है जो एक्ट हुआ से एक्ट से कोई काम ना चलता है क्योंकि हमारे बांग्लादेश में बांग्लादेश जो तो मेरा हम लोग ये काज कोडी तो हम लोग शबोला कुन्नस्ती कॉन्वर्जेंस एक तो होलो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एवं कोइस बिंगुल गवर्नमेंट के जो तो प्रकोल को ये प्रकोल पोटा थे हम लोग चांस मने हम लोग हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एकाने प्रतिनिधित्� आम्रा तादेके काउंसलिंग कोर्ची, काउंसलिंग कोरे तादेके बेकोड़ा चिष्टा कोर्ची, एवं के कोड़े कोड़े आम्रा देखची, आम्रा जेसा प्रथम तो ग्राम, शे ग्रामे मेरा, आम्रा जोकुन बाहरे आस्से, बाहरे शे जोकुन तारा एक भालो पड़ोसना हो जाच्चे, तारा नाना रकुम शनमुकिन होच्चे, तारा जोकुन जाच्चे तादर में तो भाले भाले बेरी ही अच्छे मेरा आईटी सेक्सर तो अकुन आमादर किन्तु कॉल कोर्चे बोल जे इनफॉर्म की कोड बो अमरा की बाबे आमादर कोर्चे कि डोंट माइंड आर टेक मतलब क्यों माइंड माइंड कोड ना उद्धोधन कर्मचारी रा जारा तादर किचु 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 क्षेत्र की होय कि हैरेसमेंट होय जारा धुन ओखाने जाच्चे � किचु हैरेसमेंट होच्छे, शब्द समाज जहाँ मदर सेक्सुअल हैरेसमेंट ना किचु हमादर के कोड़ाए, किचु हमादर के होए, कि हमादर तीन रखो में अभियुस है हमादर होए, एक तो हलो भार्बल, एक तो फिजिकल, एक तो विजुअल, ये तीन रखो में किन्तु होए, बाव हमादर एमोनो होए, किचु पोर्नोग्राफी दियो, किचु बोलते पढ़च तो इखाने वो अपना कोड़ी की उखाने वो बेश बेशीर भाग बांगाली बांगाली मेरा ही किंतु आमादेर वेस्ट बेंगल आम्रा जेटु वेस्ट बेंगले काज कोट्ची शेखाने जोखों काउंसलिंग कोड़ी तादेके राते ड्यूटी दी तो है राते ड्यूटी दावा शुमाए किंतु मने मेरे टा इटा मतलब जो दिन वाला दौड़कर नहीं किन्तु मैं बोल ची एक्सप्रेस मैंने की भावे होए राते दो टो में थाके ताके वो किन्तु हमारा नाना रखूँ भावे हैरास होता है तार घोड़े बेड में दौड़ जाए कोनो कारण ने शिकुले रखे गए थे शिकुला शुमाए सोखों कांस्टेबल उना के उना नाना रकम भाव हैरास तो ये शेही हैरास से हमारा काउंसलिंग कोडी एवं तार पड़े जुदी हमारे टेंडेस टेंडेस दाव है शेही खाने हो जुदी हमारे रुखाने है तो खाने हमारे खाने मने जजमेंट है जजमेंट हॉर पड़े तादेक ऐटा पनिशमेंट जुदी से सेलेंडर जुदी देखा जाए छोटो खाटो व्यापार तो Evaluation of the fundamental rights, graduate of the constitution and until an English armed woman come out the open against it, it will be difficult to use in the change. Amra judi na bedi achi. Man eta ami ekta likhe chhi. Amra judi nijera nijera na bedi achi meira. Amra kintu kono bhavei a sexual harassment mandu korte parbo na. Amader ke protecti amader ei bhavei awareness kora hai gram e gye. Je tomader amra dosjon kore actione committee dori kore chhi. तादेक के एक तर नाम दाव हो चुका मिटी तो माँ के एक तर ग्रिप दाव हो बे तुम्ही जो दी आरो एक्स्ट्रा जोन के एवरनेस करते पड़ो तो अकोन शेही मेटी की दोष्टी में तादेक मोदे एक तर प्रचुन्न भावे तादेक के शेखानो होच्छे किलकम होए तुम्हार तुम्ही जाच्छो 
তোমার হাতের তুমি কিভাবে তাকে ইগনোর করবে তারপর তোমাকে হয়তো তোর চোখের আই কন্ট্যাক্ট হচ্ছে আই কন্ট্যাক্ট হওয়ার পরে ওদের হয়েছে ওরা স্কুলে গিয়ে বুঝতে পারছে পড়তে গিয়ে বুঝতে পারছে তখন তাদেরকে এইভাবে আমরা ছোট থেকে একদম আমরা শুরু করি এবং তাদেরকে গুড বিহেভিয়ার অ্যান্ড ব্যাড বিহেভিয়ার এবং নানা রকম টেলি ফিল্ম আমাদের সব সংগ্রহ করা আছে সেই ফিল্মগুলো নিয়ে গিয়ে দেখায় কিভাবে তুমি অ্যাবিউজ হবে কিভাবে তুমি কীভাবে সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট হবে কিভাবে তোমাকে ওখান থেকে ওভারকাম করে আসতে হবে এই ওভার ওভারকামটা হলো আমাদের মেয়েদের ক্ষমতায়ন ম্যাডাম একটা আলাপতি ম্যাডাম একটা দারুণ বলেছেন যে আমরা ছোটবেলা থেকে আমাদের তৈরি করে দেওয়া হয় আমরা ছোটা হয় লেরকি হয় ও লেরকা হয় এই যে ডিফারেন্ট ডিফারেন্ট টাইপ অফ আমাদের যে করে দিচ্ছে সেইখান থেকে কিন্তু আমাদের একটা ভয় ভীতি কাজ করছে সেই ভয়টাই কিন্তু পরে এখন আমরা ওভারকাম করে বাইরে আসছি বাইরে এসে কিন্তু সেই কাজটা আমরা যখন করছি তখন ভাবছি বলবো আমার কাজটা যদি চলে যায় আমি এখানে যেটা বলবো এটা করলে এটা হয় নানা রকম আমাদের ডিফারেন্ট আমাদের সাইকোলজি একটা প্রবলেম হচ্ছে সেইখান থেকে আমরা ওভারকাম করে যদি না বেরোতে পারি আমরা মেয়ে এমপ্লয়িজ আছে বা পুরুষরাও যেটা আছে সবাই আমাদের কিন্তু পাশে আছে আমাদের এখনও আমাদের সমাজে নাইনটি নাইন পারসেন্ট জেন্টস ভালো পুরুষ মানুষ কারণ তারা না যদি ঠিক থাকতো বা আমরা যদি সবাই আমরা বুঝতে পারছি খারাপ তাহলে কিন্তু আমরা আজকে চলতে পারতাম না আমরা যে যেই সব যা জায়গায় যাচ্ছি সেই সব জায়গাগুলো ওভারকাম ছোট্ট একটা ঘটনা একটি মেয়ে সাধারণ সে পড়তে গিয়ে একটা অ্যাবিউজ হয়েছিল সে কারণে সে এবং তাকে যখন সে বাড়িতে বলল সে বাড়িতে বলার পরে তার মা বাবা তাকে টর্চার করল এই এই যে বলল তুমি মিথ্যে কথা বলছো এ একটা জিনিসকে অদ্ভুত জিনিস আমাদের সমাজের একটা অদ্ভুত জিনিস এই জায়গাটা থেকে আমরা না বেরোতে পারলে যে বাবা মাও এবং আমাদের প্যারেন্টসদের একটা করে আমরা মিটিং করি অ্যাওয়ারনেস ক্যাম্প করি সেই প্যারেন্টসদের অ্যাওয়ারনেস ক্যাম্পে আমরা ওখানে বলি যে তোমরা আপনার মায়েরা তোমরা সব সময় যে বলছো বাড়িতে মাস্টারমশাই আসছেন পড়াতে বলছে মেয়ে মিথ্যে কথা বলছে তারপরে ওখানে চাকরির ক্ষেত্রে তুই অ্যাডজাস্ট কর এই অ্যাডজাস্ট 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 মেয়েদেরকে অ্যাডজাস্ট করানোর এমনভাবে একটা জায়গায় নিয়ে গেছে সেই অ্যাডজাস্টের জন্যই অনেক সময় অনেক মেয়েরা ওই জায়গা থেকে বেরোতে পারছে না এই বেরোনোর কাজ আমাদেরকে সবাই সমাজের সকলকে নিয়ে করতে হবে যদি আমরা ছেলেরাও অ্যাওয়ারনেস আমাদের করছে কারণ তারাও বোঝাচ্ছে গিয়ে গিয়ে বলছে গ্রামে আর যে তোমরা গ্রামে হোক শহরে হোক তোমরা আমরা আমাদের শহরে বেশি অ্যাবুজ আমাদের একটা হলো মেন ডিজিজ হয়েছে আমাদের স্মার্টফোন স্মার্টফোনে আমার একটা রিসেন্ট ঘটনা জলপাইগুড়িতে একটি মেয়ে চলে গেল আমাকে জলপাইগুড়ি যেতে হলো গিয়ে দেখলাম মেয়েটি কোনোদিন ছেলেটিকে দেখেই নি কিন্তু তার সঙ্গে তার স্মার্টফোনে আলাপ সেখানে গিয়ে দেখা যাচ্ছে তার ফর্টি নাইন ইয়ার্স ওল্ড আর মেয়েটি হলো টোয়েন্টি থাই টোয়েন্টি থ্রি ইয়ার্স ওল্ড এবার আমরা গিয়ে ও যখন বুঝতে পারিনি ওখানে গিয়ে দেখলো সেইখান থেকে ওকে বেরোতে পারছে না ওইখানে গিয়ে আমি ওখানকার পুলিশ দিয়ে বলে তাকে সেইখান থেকে নিয়ে আসা এই নিয়ে নিয়ে এসে মালদায় নিয়ে আসা এবং তাকে সে বলা সেই ছেলেটিকে আমাদের একটা পানিশমেন্ট একটা পানিশমেন্ট হয়েছিল ছেলেটির লোকটির এইভাবে আমাদের বিভিন্নভাবে আমাদের হ্যারাসমেন্ট হতে হয় আমি অ্যাক্টগুলো আর বললাম না আমাদের প্রচুর অ্যাক্ট আছে আমি লিখেছিলাম আমি বসে আমাদের জানি আমি দশ দিনের মধ্যে সেকশন ওয়ান যে গ্র্যান্ড অডিট দ্য স্টেট গভর্নমেন্ট মে বি সেট আপ এজেন্সি অফ ট্রান্সফার অফ গ্র্যান্ড মেড আন্ডার সাব সেকশন ওয়ান দ্যাট এজেন্সি কমপ্লেসেন এগেনস্ট কমপ্লেট মে বি কনস্টিটিউশন উইদ ইন পিরিয়ড থ্রি মান্থ ফর দ্য ডেট অফ ইনসিডেন্ট ইন কেস অফ সিরিয়াস ইনসিডেন্ট দ্য টাইম পিরিয়ড উইল বি রিমেইন মেসেন আমাদের মানে আমাদেরকে এবং এমন কি আমাদের বাংলা হিন্দি কিছু মনে করে না আমার বলে ফেলছে আমি আসলে বলার জন্য মানে বলতে ভালো লাগে বলে বলছি দশ দিনের মধ্যে অনেক মেয়ে আছে জানায় না তাদেরকে যে আমাদের কমিটি আছে সেই কমিটিতে আমাদের ওমেন্স এম্পাওয়ারমেন্টের আমাদের আছে ওমেন্স সেকশান আছে আমাদের সোশ্যাল ওয়েলফেয়ার অফিসে সেই অবধি জানা থেকে অনেক দেরি করে ফেলে তখন কি হয় অটোমেটিক তার একটা হ্যারাসমেন্ট হয়েই গেল তারপরে জানালো ট্রান্সফার নিয়ে নিল সে বাড়ি থেকে ওই চাকরিটা হয়তো আইটি সেক্টর বা অন্য কোনো চাকরিটা ছেড়ে দিল সেই জন্য আমাদের প্রত্যেককে সচেতন হতে হবে আমি নির্বাহীদের সামনে এত বড় সাহস নিয়ে আমার অনেক দিনের হালাম সামনে বলে আমি মানে আবার বলতেও ইয়ে হচ্ছে কিন্তু উনি অনেক জানেন আমি কিভাবে ট্রান্সজেন্ডারদের ট্রান্সজেন্ডাররা আপনি ভাব আপনারা ভাবতে পারবেন না ট্রান্সজেন্ডাররা সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট হয় আমরা জানতাম না আমি ট্রান্সজেন্ডারদের সঙ্গে কাজ করছি দীর্ঘ তেরো সাল থেকে এই তেরো সাল থেকে ট্রান্সজেন্ডারদের সঙ্গে কাজ করে দেখছি তারা তারা সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট হচ্ছে আমরা জানতাম না যে পুরুষদের পুরুষ পুরুষকে যে সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট করতে পারে বা তাকে খারাপ ইঙ্গিত করতে পারে কিন্তু সেখানে হচ্ছে
আমাকে প্রচুর সহমত করেন উনি আমাকে আমার সঙ্গে সব সময় আছেন ট্রান্সজেন্ডার একটা হলো বিশাল সমস্যা আমরা ভাবি তাদেরকে খুব খারাপভাবে যদি এই প্রসঙ্গটা নেই এখানে কিন্তু সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট তারা মেয়ে নিজেদেরকে মেয়ে ভাবে ওমেন তাদের মেন্টালি অ্যান্ড ফিজিক্যালি সব দি চাইডার ডিমান্ড সব ওমেন তো সেইখানে সেখানেও তারা কিন্তু সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট হয় তো আমাদের যেখানেই হোক আমাদের এই কমিটি যেটা কমিটি আছে যেখানে যা আমাদের মানে মানে রুলস আছে সেই রুলসগুলোর মেনে আমরা মেয়েরা এবং পুরুষরাও সবাই মিলে যদি আমরা এগিয়ে আসি তাহলে কিন্তু আমাদের এই সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট শুধু বলে হবে না একটা কমিটি একটা মিটিং করলাম এটা করলে হবে না ফিল্ডে নেমে এবং সবার সঙ্গে এটা বসে একটা অ্যাডজাস্টমেন্ট কথা বলতে হবে জানতে হবে তার কি সমস্যা তার সঙ্গে বন্ধু হতে হবে বন্ধু না হলে কিন্তু আপনি পারবেন না এই সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট অনেকেই বলতে যায় না যে বললে আমার কি ভাববে লোকে খারাপ ভাববে লোকে একটা খারাপ ইঙ্গিত দেবে এই আমাদের একটা অ্যাটিচিউড হয়ে গেছে মেয়েদের কিন্তু আমরা যদি সেটা বেরিয়ে আসি এবং অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেট লেভেলেও কিন্তু আমরা অনেকভাবে সেক্সুয়াল হ্যারাসমেন্ট হই শুধু ভাববেন না যে আমরা রুট লেভেল রাস্তাঘাটে হই বাসে ট্রামে হই তা না অনেক জায়গায় হই কিন্তু সেখান থেকেও বেরিয়ে আসার ক্ষমতা রাখতে হবে এবং আমাদের এই যদি আমাদের এই কমিটি থাকে কমিটি থেকে আমাদের বেরিয়ে আসতে মানে বসে আমাদের একটা আবার একটা মানে সেন্সিটাইজেশন প্রোগ্রাম করা উচিত এবং এটা করলে কি হবে আপনার আমরা যারা ওয়ার্কিং লেডি বা আমরা যারা ফিল্ডে কাজ করি যা আমরা সমাজের যে 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 কোনো কাজ করি সেই কাজগুলোর সঙ্গে আমরা ওতপ্রোতভাবে জড়িয়ে পড়ব এবং আমি একটাই বলি সমাজের সঙ্গে আমরা না জড়িয়ে পড়লে সমাজকে না ভালোবাসলে আজকে আমি হয়তো বেশি কিছু করতে পারিনি কিন্তু যেটুকুনি করেছি সেটুকুনি কিন্তু খুব ভালো না বাসলে সেই জায়গাটা থেকে বেরিয়ে আসতে পারা যায় না সেই জায়গাটা থেকে আসতে হবে ভালোবাসতে হবে ভালোবাসলে এবং আমাদের এই ছোটো 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 পয়েন্ট আছে আমার কতগুলো কি কীভাবে হয় সেই পয়েন্টগুলো পরে আবার যদি কোনো সময় আলোচনা হয় সেই পয়েন্টগুলো আমি বলবো আর দীর্ঘায়িত করলাম না সবাইকে আমার ধন্যবাদ এবং প্রণাম জানিয়ে আমার বক্তব্য শেষ করি থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ জয়শ্রী কর্মকার ম্যাডাম ফর শেয়ারিং ইউর ভিউজ Now we will be having another special guest Ms Shivani Das and I would request her to address today's event Ms Shivani Das is the vice president of NGO Udichi she is also the executive member of Human Rights Protection Council Human Rights Protection Council of India is an expression of the national tradition of tolerance in all cultures that form the basis of peace and fearlessness and progress The vision and the aim of Human Rights Protection Council are the formation of fearless and non-succumbing society on the basis of truthfulness and non-violence. HRPC of India is based on the philosophy of human rights that is all human beings are born equal and free. Human Rights Protection Council of India coordinating with various government and non-government departments generates awareness among people issues related to the safety of the environment it takes urgent step and investigation for bonded labor child labor custodial encounter death consumer related issues rape and sexual harassment to protect human rights currently ms shivani dash is an active member of human rights protection council in the malda jurisdiction i request ma'am to come up on and address the today's event Good morning Mrs Swirupa Mitra Chaudhary chief guest of the event special guest Mr Mrs Jai Sridhi Mrs Sailaja Alapati madam director sir and my dear friends thank you for inviting me on this important day when we all adults need to remind us once again about how to maintain a beautiful balance in society and teach our next generation to respect every lady they met on their way imagine a life without the affection of any lady in our life none of us have come to this path without the sacrifice and selfless love of one to many women in our lives despite that today we gathered to talk about such an issue which shows that a section of society just could not learn to treat women with respect and due dignity 
Incidents of sexual harassment are common in every sphere of life from domestic to public and even in a professional workplace. So let's talk about it. Any unwelcome act is sexual harassment. And if the judgment and action of a man are clear, we need not have this meeting today. But unfortunately, this is not the case. It is not the person does not understand what he is doing but seldom, unwillingly and more often manipulatively he hunts the victim which can make the life of the victim very traumatic. The government has passed many rules and regulation to punish such acts as we have heard from my previous speakers here today. Legally, it is a crime and institutions are responsible to deal every strictly with such unfortunate incidents. When legal procedures are short time measures to deal with urgent cases, the primary solution lies in educating us to respect women since our childhood. In many countries, kids are taught about sexual education from a very early, our country being very conservative about this. Mostly learn on family values and maintaining of our parents and elderly. So it is a uh, utmost importance that we teach our ki kids right from home to deal with every woman with respect, in, in respect and agree, agreement and disagreement. In a workplace, a woman has her work many extra miles to adjust to the male-dominated work environment instead of getting equal respect. She always has to be extra caution to bypass the innumerable sexual eye beam that come here way now and then. A safe working place is so primary to increased productivity and hence progress. The lack of faith, safe working environment negatively impacts society, hammers gender equality and constricts the social and economic development of the country. No doubt majority of men are not sick, but the problem is most men keep silent even when they see a wrong things happening in front of them. Just talking about equality and women's safety. On stage and, the, and in books used to be very effective. All of us should stand like a wall, determined not to let such things happen. Over the internet too, women are objectified and rated to such low tested just for pleasure. Our laws should strictly deal with such online activities and give ex exemplary punishment to such criminals. Even in expectably civilized in environments like school, college, and universities, female students, teachers, co-workers face shameful harassment from fellow friends, mentors, and colleagues. They authorize the authorities should keep a strict vigil on such crime. Most importantly, all women should, it's our utmost responsibility that instead of tolerating and avoiding all these uncomfortable experiences, we should speak up and keep the environment clean. Another reason for women facing sexual harassment is during, is drug abuse. In the state of intoxication, people have impaired judgment and easily indulge in, in wrong things. It is harmful to both the predator and the victim. The dual nature of some, I repeat, some men who respect their mother, wife, and daughters, but treat other women as an object of pleasure are the problem. 
they forget that the women are also someone mothers wife and daughters it is up the rest of society to stop them we should teach our kind kids to respect not just the women at home but also the cleaner the cook the maid their classmates although i feel in a male dominated society males have a bigger responsibility to stop sexual harassment it is also important that we the men women have to be strong and bold to survive with our due dignity and demand equal respect in the work environment just like any other place we have to stand against such atrocities and make both ourselves and others safe. we should not overlook or avoid even the small advance fearing losing a friend or attracting bad names we should be the jhansi ki rani or for all, for our self respect remember the little ones look up to us to give them a suffer tomorrow so let's promise ourselves not to compromise with even the smallest act of sexual harassment and stand boldly against the offender thank you all of us thank you so much ebong shobar samne bangla ektu boli jeta joy sridhi ebong amader respected madam sir jeta jeta bollen seta hocche shobar age amader vivek ke age thik korte hobe je amra kon ta chai seta jodi amra motamoti thik kore ni tahole pore mone hoy ektu crime gulo ei harassment gulo kome jabe thank you very much thank you so much madam for your encouraging words now it is the uh, time for much awaited speech by our chief guest mr shrupa mitra choudhury mla english bajar malda who is our very warm neighbor didi before she begins shrupa mitra choudhury is popularly known as nirbhaya didi and she is leading social scientist women's rights activist and gender development specialist she is the recipient of outstanding women award from national commission for women government of india she is the founder of nirvaya gram fearless village campaign in aspirational districts and which includes malda and mushidabad districts she gave leadership in nirvaya rape and murder case for her credit she contacted highest number of gender sensitization programs for police personnel in the country she was chairperson of special task force rape trafficking and violence against women government of india she was a member central social welfare board national advisor of national legal services authority member delhi legal services authority and she is well known for her activities pertaining shelter and rehabilitation of homeless women she is founder of many national institutions including national institute for gender justice she was chairperson of women's federation for world peace in india and president of international congress of women she has worked with united nations and world bank 7 years ago she joined politics for social change and currently she is mla of english bajar malda she is spokesperson of bjp bengal and member of national executive committee bjp mohila morcha over to you madam i request to come and address to this event good morning everyone who is present here honorable respected dr alapati and mrs alapati who are the pillars of this institution where i am privileged to come today and also my friends and sisters joyshri and shivani also my friend from your institute professor assistant professor shumi 
who has taken time to coordinate with me in the past few weeks. I am really thankful to you for giving your time and a very disciplined approach to invite someone which shows that the mentoring by Dr. and Mrs. Alapati in this institution is really great and happening. Ashoto ma shadgamayo, tamasho ma jyotir gamayo. Amra ei shabda duto shabai jani. From darkness to light, I think that is the philosophy of all the educational institutions where either we have gone or we got opportunity to receive enlightenment and internal uh, inspiration from the institutions like you and I am really grateful that we are able to speak on a very important issue which is the equality, respect, dignity and justice to all the people who manage an educational institution whether he is a man or he is a woman. In our view, we really don't discriminate and we don't see whether you are a man or a woman. I would like to sing just one line of a song which is the uh, philosophy and the view of all of us which I want to propagate all the time. Apnara Janin. Tumi dekho nari purush Ami dekhi shudhui manush Tai na? Gaiwan Tumi dekho nari purush Gaiwan Ami dekhi shudhui manush Or that For the translation to Dr. Alapati who is coming from another part of her country you may see man or woman, but I see only a human being. That's the driving thought and the philosophy behind the concept of equality and justice to women. Actually, the women that we are talking today, who are these women? The women who have given birth to us, whether we have become a professor, or we have become a doctor, or we have become an engineer, or we have become a rapist. Every one of us has come out of the womb of our mother. So that's the women, the mother who gives us birth. Today, when we meet our colleague at an educational institution, she's Today maybe she is looking like a sister, tomorrow she is going to get married and she will mother a child. And that child can be your child or your colleague's child or anybody's child. But she is a mother, she is an evolving mother. So the philosophy is that if we are, are aware all the time about the mothers who have given birth to us, who have nursed, nursed us, who have nurtured us, who have given us an aspiration to live, who has cooked food for us, then I think we will never indulge, we will never indulge in insulting that mother. Can we insult our mother, tell me? So what are we talking? We are talking something which is happening in our country and across the globe. There are cases of sexual harassment and the sexual harassment is such a, uh, such a subjective uh, approach to life that even 
the members of legislative assembly or the members of parliament those who are elected a member of parliament is elected by almost 18 lakh people and that kind of member of parliament also becomes victim or perpetrator of sexual harassment I would like to quote what has happened day before yesterday there is a member of parliament from West Bengal he insulted another member of parliament who is a lady in open public domain without understanding that is in the domain of molestation that can attract legal punishment and proceedings against him and can, can debar him from the parliament. I would like to quote that in Bangla. He spoke in Bangla. How many of you are Bang uh, Bengali? Mostly you are Bengali, right? There is Kulan Banerjee. Don't take it as politics. Take it as sexual harassment. Dr. Kulan Banerjee, who is an advocate and a noted parliamentarian, is a good speaker. He says, Locket ke nupur korechi. He spoke about Lockett Chatterjee, another parliamentarian. He says, Lockett ke nupur korechi, paer nupur korechi. Ar ogni ke jol korvo. Ogni mitra pal, another legislator, take jol korvo. So this is, this language is taken as a serious sexual offense or harassment and women across the country they have gone to write to the speaker of the parliament that this type of language should not be spoken by any parliamentarian in or any man in the civil society similarly you have seen that in many cases just two days back somebody said that this is you the parliament and the legislature is dominated by binti bali women they spoke about me they spoke about sushma swaraj smriti irani who is the women and child minister and also nimitra paul so when you when you pass a remark about a woman's dress what she is wearing how she is looking whether that is looking good or bad these are also considered part of sexually derogatory remark so you have to be always cautious about the language that you speak there is nothing called to be virtuous or to be um, you know aesthetic about it it's simple what your colleague is wearing is not to be seen as a purview of a uh, of a point of uh, creating a derogatory uh, remark on her life or or her approach to life so it's very important for all of you who are sitting here that sexual harassment is not rape so sexual harassment is not touch, just touching somebody it's also how you look at a woman you tease a woman you use some kind of words which make her uh, feel absolutely panicky so one has to think that this world which is given to us by God is a beautiful world we are here to live for a short time it's like a train we have come to a train and we are get, going to get down tomorrow morning or maybe 20 years later but one day or other our jatra is going to finish so within this journey our human journey on this planet we should learn to respect the planet the trees, the plants, the 
uh, everything around us and also the man, woman, child, everyone. So when we talk about respect or dignity or justice, it's not about man or woman, it's about the entire humanity. That understanding as a philosophy of life should be there in each one of us. It's unfortunate that we have gone to the extent of harassing a woman, killing her, raping her, nailing her, throwing her, burning her to that extent, which is absolutely barbaric. But that does not happen all the time. This is a precautionary meeting that we are having which is part of a Government of India initiative of creating a just and equitable environment for everyone who is working here, all faculty, the entire non-teaching staff and the students who are with us. This has to be taken very seriously. There are certain things in life which we can, we cannot compromise there is zero tolerance about them and that is exactly we are talking about do not indulge in insulting a woman just because she is woman try to become gender neutral earlier we used to talk about gender justice but now because the man and woman both, they have grown so well in life. They are almost equal partners in the challenges of the world. So now, whatever we say, we don't now talk whether women should get more rights or men should get more rights. We say that be gender neutral. We don't know who is a man or a woman. We know she is our colleague. And that's the end of the story. So my dear friends and dear teachers, you are the one who is going to nurture another child. And so many students are your bhakt, your disciples. They come here only to get education from you. So this is my humble submission to all of you that we should honor and respect our women. We should also respect the legislations that our government has brought in. There can be hundreds of conventions that I can talk. For example, the United Nations conventions which have talked about in hundreds of pages they are talking about what is a sexual harassment, a word, a language, an act, a sight, a view, each one of your action, physical action, your psychological behavior that has been defined by the United Nations as violative of sexual harassment protocol and the government of India I was working with the Ministry of Women and Child Development in government of India for a long time and I was the chairperson of the first chairperson of national policy for empowerment of women United Nations conventions which have talked and then Years later, I again became chairperson of the national, the review, the commission for review of the same national policy for empowerment of women. And later on, instructed by the President of India at that time, uh, Mrs. Pratibha Patilji, I was also spearheading and policy making drafting 
the national policy for empowerment of women and also national mission for empowerment of women. What she said about Shabala, the Shabala program, the name was given by me in the government of India. So in my long history, in my long history of working on the issues of women's rights and justice, I realized the major problem with us is we do not many times understand how our behavior is taken as a violation of human right or sexual harassment. So, I will tell you that 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 I will that a senior advocate and a parliamentarian is speaking on a public domain about my bindi. What's wrong in him? I haven't taken his permission to wear the bindi and he is not the authority to give me the permission to wear the bindi. So how can he make a remark on that? So we should understand what is the SOP, the standard operating protocol for all of us. Friends, I have traveled across the world, whether it is United States or it is China or in the places in Europe or all the developing, developed countries of the world and the entire South Asia and Africa. What I have seen there that even a man, a husband, will say to a wife a good morning and a good night. They are so cautious because we have to respect a personality in our wife. We have to respect a personality in our husbands. That's a very, very important matter. My husband, who is a very senior civil servant, an IS officer, and a great scholar and educationist, I have seen him that in every occasion when I am at home, he will say to all the helpers at home, that first let madam eat, then serve my food. Why does he say that? He means to say that here is a woman who is from morning to evening working hard for whom? For securing the rights of other women, for poor women and when she comes back home we should all learn to respect her. So in my home my husband and my son always allows me and my daughter to eat the food first. That is, what is it? That is gender neutral and an idea of gender justice. Because my husband and my son, they are working in different field. They are not interested in women's empowerment and all that. But for them, two women who are at home, respecting them, giving them an advance salutation every day is an encouragement and a recognition to female gender. So my entire life I have spent on whether you call it rescue of Nirbhaya or fighting for Nirbhaya or fighting for Tanduri murder Naina Sahani or now fighting for the Dvasi Hat girl from uh, Matia. My entire life is gone in this uh, looking at the burned dead bodies of women, looking at the half cut dead bodies of women, watching their post mortem, collecting their body, burning their body. I have burned more than thousand dead bodies of destitute homeless women myself and received President's Medal for that activity which I am ashamed of. 
that in this country we are still burning the women on the street with kerosene. I have seen Nainath Sahani murder case. A girl was shot dead, brought in a gunny bag and put in a tandoor and burnt like chicken. And after that, no one from the family came to claim her dead body. In Naina Sani case, no one came to claim her dead body. I had to volunteer before the judge, before the magistrate and take her dead body, claim her dead body and burn her dead body. What is this? We are living in a society, we are not living in a zoo. So my dear friends, we have to recognize that the world is not looking equally at women, which Mrs. Alapati was saying, that we are still not able to recognize the fact that we are all human beings. So we have to be cautious, we have to be careful, handling not only our colleagues, but our maids at home, our wives at home, our girl child at home. We are living in a society where thousands of cases through a program called Pratidhi I have handled where a father has raped the daughter. The other day there is a stepfather who raped the daughter in Gurgaon from Harishandrapur in Malda. So daily this kind of reporting actually it creates imbalance in the society. It exposes the savagery, the internal bitterness that we have. So we have to be, again I am saying, we have to be cautious, we have to be respectful and we should try to read the laws. And on my, from my side, I will be clearly requesting Dr. Alapati and Mrs. Alapati that if there are cases coming in ICC, let's be totally zero tolerant and non-compromising if we get a single complaint whether from a child who is a student or a teacher or a non-teaching staff. Because deterrence is very important. If I ask you all of you will say in one answer, if I ask you this question, why do you think this kind of rape is not going down? All of you will say and agree on one point, that there is no deterrence. Shoot that man, hang that man, everybody says that. So deterrence and deterrent action on the part of an institution is very, very important, almost paramount, that we should not compromise in fear of what media will say or what the government will think about our administration. Any case that comes, we should deal with it strictly, diligently and also provide maximum victims assistance to that child or to that person. Because the world is looking forward to see a world which is equal, a world which is justiciable. And trust me, we are sometimes very possessive and that creates problem. For example, when my daughter used to go to school, when she was going to a school, I have seen my husband, he will not even allow a driver to drive the vehicle. Every morning he will drive the child to school and leave her to school thinking that my, this driver can also assault my child. That's what we have done until she became, she passed her secondary examination. But after that, she went to study in United States of America. And then we had to send her to America. Now how will she go? She has gone boarding a flight. We could not go because the tickets are 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 
we can't afford. So then the child who was so protected in her early childhood, she drove with her father only. She had to go in a flight with 300 people alone to America to study. Here comes the problem. From the early childhood, we have to make the house gender friendly. We have to teach our children that you have to adjust in all circumstances, especially if you have a male sibling, if you have a brother, or if you don't have a brother, then the society has many brothers. So fortunately, because of my gender justice actions, my daughter adjusted in America very well, and today she has also become a gender trainer like me in a United States University. So, what I mean to say that from cradle to grave, women are unsafe. Apnara janin feticide which happening in the cradle before the child is born or after the child is born. From that time till the, till the person has gone to grave, has died. In this country we have heard 78 year old woman raped and gagged and murdered. Haven't you heard? In Jesus and Mary convent in Ramaghat, mother superior, 78 year old, she was assaulted by 23 boys. Some of them were students. In her own school. And finally when I went to see her, it was only, uh, it was only tears in her eyes. And after that, she did not pursue her case. She left, for the, left the country and went to Rome to live there. So from cradle to grave, we have the same problem of beti bachao, beti parhao, beti bachao, beti parhao. With great difficulty, our government has been able to raise the ratio of girl child and boy child in our country. The boy's ratio was going down, down, down. Now first time this year, the childbirth of boys and girls, the ratio has been rationalized and girl's birth has grown. So I should address all of you, sir, because you all are teachers. So sir, my sincere request and submission that let our house be gender friendly let our office be gender friendly, our classroom be gender friendly and let's say no to gender abuse. No to gender abuse. And we all should contribute heartily, warmly towards a just and equitable planet and a just and equitable society. If we are able to do that, then there is no need of Vishakha judgment. You know, any one of you know about Vishakha judgment? Show me you must be knowing. The Supreme Court had to pass a special judgment on the women's rights and the sexual harassment at workplace. I would like to read to some of you because you all are teachers. In the Bishakha judgment in 1997, the court held that sexual harassment at the workplace was indeed violative of the fundamental rights guaranteed under Article 14, 15, 19, and 21 of the Constitution of India. The court also defined sexual harassment as unwelcome sexually determined behavior, whether directly or indirectly, like physical contact and advances, a demand or request for sexual favors, which happens in educational institution lot many times. Amar transferred junno, or transferred junno. A female is soliciting or a female is requested to sleep with another man. This is rampant in educational institution in our country, it is rampant. So that is what is called 
that request for sexual favors, sexually colored remarks like that Kulhan Banerjee, showing pornography or any other unwelcome physical, verbal or non-verbal conduct of sexual nature. That is in the Bishakha judgment the Honorable Supreme Court has defined. The Honorable Court also acknowledged the lack of adequate legislation and loopholes which allowed such heinous crimes to thrive. Section 354 and 354A of the Indian Penal Code were to be referred in any case of sexual harassment, but these provisions were not specific to the issue at hand. This made the Honorable Court realize the need for effective legislation to deal with sexual harassment cases. The court also took reference from the international conventions of the United Nations to give a deeper analysis. Article 11.1 A and F and Article 24 of Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women was cited. The court made a special mention that gender equality includes gender equality includes protection from sexual harassment and right to work with dignity which is a universally recognized basic human right. That is what I was saying. That tumi dekho nari purush ami dekhi shudhi manush. The basic fundamental human right if we are able to recognize that as part of our job or part of our task in life, then believe me, the world will not be like this. There will be no worry and no case of sexual harassment. But because it is not happening, so we have this ICC, Internal Complaint Committee. I really thank Dr. Alapati for bringing up this ICC in the institution, which is a very important mandatory compulsory step. And I hope that in near future, no such case will happen in this university, in this college, and the ICC will able to provide maximum support and help to women workers, women students, and women faculty members who are here and give them lot of warmth and support. If anything that you want, Madam, from my side, although I am a MLA of this Malda headquarter, but that doesn't matter. Any time that you need my help and support or any counseling that has to be done, any critical case that has to be resolved, that is my expertise. That's the work that I have done in the last 32 years. So I will volunteer and come and help. With all these words, I like to thank all of you for giving me opportunity and time to speak in front of you. Please stay well, develop a healthy mind, do yoga, lot of walk, lot of healthy habits try to develop. And with all these things, I am sure we will will be able to um, drive away the evil desires, evil behavior, derogatory behavior from our mind and body. Ekta bhalo shorir, ekta shustho moner odhikari. Where is this mind staying? Tell me. This is when we have a good healthy body. So if we have good sleep, we have good relations at home and we have nice good children to look at. We have flowers in our house. Then I am sure there will be no delinquent behavior on our part. I am very hopeful that we will be able to observe zero tolerance in sexual harassment in this institute which has become a pride of Malda. And last but not the least, I must thank Dr. Alapati, who has developed 
this controversial place. I had to come here and sit on a dharna at one point of time. The children were on hunger strike. I was there present. So from that place, today we are doing a training of ICC is a great development and milestone that we have achieved. I am really thankful and grateful to all of you. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you very much, Ms. Shirupa Mitra Chaudhary, Madam, for your motivating, encouraging, and altogether engaging address in today's program. We are really honored and privileged to have you amongst us today. And now we have reached almost to the final part of our today's training and sensitization program. And I request uh, Dr. Chiranjit Sain, member ICC JKCIET, to come and deliver the vote of thanks to all the dignitaries and everybody present here. Thanks, Madam. A very good afternoon to Honorable Director, Sir, Chief Guest of the Station, all the dignitaries on and off the dais, and fellow colleagues. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of the ICC Committee of the Institute. I would like to convey my hearty thanks and honor to our chief guest, Mrs. Srirupa Mitra Choudhury, Madam, who is popularly known as Nirbhaya Didi, a MLA English Bajar Malda, who graced this function with her motivational thoughts. Madam, we are really thankful to you for accepting our invitation and inspiring us with your kind presence. The first lady of the institute, Dr. Soilaja Alapati, Madam, we are much thankful to you for, co for coming over here and enlightening us with your valuable thoughts. In this context, I like to extend my sincere thanks to our special guest, Mrs. Joyce Parmokar. Madam Secretary JSHSWA for sharing her fantastic thoughts. It's my honor to thank our special guest, Mrs. Sibani Das, Vice, Pre uh, Vice President NGO Udichi, for our motivational speech. I would like to express my sincere gratitude and thanks to our Honorable Director, Sir Professor Parameshwara Alapati for his constant I would lo like to express my sincere gratitude and thanks to our honorable Director Sir Professor Parameshwara Alapati for his constant motivation and support to con uh, conduct this training program. I would like to thank all the organizing committee members, especially Dr. Somi Bhattacharya, presiding officer I uh, ICC for our persistent effort for organizing this training program. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the deans, HODs, faculties, staffs, officers, entire administration, and all the support staff of the in institute for making this event a grand success. Thank you all for your kind presence. On behalf of the organizing committee, we apologize for any misconduct in the entire event. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Dr. Shane. And uh, now I would request everyone to stand up in your respective places and join us to show tribute for our national anthem.
you everyone yes. before you depart i request our special guest our chief guest and uh, every, all the dignitaries to join us for a photo session and engrave today's memory in frame I request everyone to please join for the photo session. <laughs> 